It is now 5.02. Uh, recording has started. And I want to welcome everybody to the Thursday, February 24th, 2022 Public Arts Commission meeting. John, would you uh, check and see if we have a quorum, please? Yep, I will uh, do a roll call. Uh, Chair Waldman. Here. Chair Waldman is here. Vice Chair King. Uh, I'm here. I'm in a car. <laughs> Commissioner Corrigan is not here. Oh, she was here earlier. She was here a little earlier. She was on um, earlier. Yep. Commissioner Couture. Present. Commissioner Janjigian. Present. Uh, Commissioner Moore is absent and looks like Commissioner Corrigan. Sorry, I'm late. There you are. So we have five of the five of the uh, commissioners present. Okay, so we have. A I, I don't mean I don't mean to interrupt, but I just I'm a guest, so I just wanted to say hi and then raise myself. I'm Donna Tastic, and I'm actually um, I applied to get onto the commission, so I just wanted to um, call in and see what y'all talk about. But I'll I'll shut up now and okay, enjoy. Okay, so our, our job is to try and scare you. Um, and on that, are there any public comments on items that are not on the agenda? It looks like we have at least one other person who has called in who is not a commissioner. I see a hand raised. Uh, Jan uh, Janine. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, should I turn on my video or should I keep it off? I'm not sure. Other commissions don't like video on. John, do you have a preference? I do not at all. Okay, well then. I'll let you. Uh, if you're not comfortable with it off, that's fine. Okay, um, I I'm fine. Turn it on. I just want to make a brief comment, which is, um, you know, I'm I'm supportive of the the dog parks that going in at McKenzie, but I do recognize that there's a sculpture right there, and so I didn't know if the um, the Arts Commission, you know, has discussed that. I noticed it was not on the agenda to the extent that either. Fencing should go, should avoid it, or the, the the sculpture should be moved. Certainly, can cannot dream of a situation where the sculpture would be inside the fenced dog park. But obviously, that's up to the commission. So I just wanted to mention that. Thank you. No, that that that's helpful. Um, John, are are you allowed to comment on that, or do you know if if the sculpture is within the area that they want to fence? I don't believe it's within the area that they're planning to fence, but I can check with staff and see what the plans are. Um, but I believe it's outside It's outside of where the, the park is planned to go. Great. Thank you. Okay. All right, and, and John, I'll double check on that. And thank you for bringing that to our attention. Are there any other public comments on items that are not on the agenda? Going once, going twice, all right. We'll go back to the uh, agenda and the first item of business is meeting minutes from our last meeting, which was all the way back January 27th. Has everyone had a chance to look at the meeting minutes? No. And um, I believe what we need to do is make a motion to accept the meeting minutes as they make uh, a motion to approve to us. the minutes. Yes. Hillary, you made a motion? Make a motion to approve. Yes, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from January 27th. Okay, and I'll go ahead and second that. John, you want to? Okay. Uh... Yep, I will do a roll call. Uh, Chair Waldman? Yes. Vice Chair King? Yes. Commissioner Corrigan? Yes. Commissioner Couture? Uh, looks like Commissioner Couture is away from her computer. Uh, Commissioner Janjigian? Yes. Motion passes four to zero with one. If you'll indulge me, I will go back to uh, the roll call vote. Um, Commissioner Couture, there was a motion made to approve the minutes, and we are going through the 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 motion uh, the the roll call. Uh, so I'll call Commissioner Couture. You're you're on mute. Terry. We're, you're on mute, Terry.
You want to just give a thumbs up or down? Would that be okay, John? Uh, uh, well, sorry, the mute is in a different spot. I, I approve it. Thank you. I apologize. Great. The, the motion passes five to zero. All right. Um, it, John, is it all right for me to ask? Last time uh, we went through the meeting and be before each item, I asked if there were public comment. We do have people from the public visiting our meeting. Mm -hmm. um, should I call that out or um, should I ask the, our two visitors, our two members of the public, if they have any comments before I go through the, the rest of the agenda? Um, so on, on each item, we should offer an opportunity to, for the public to speak. Okay. So, uh, sorry, I'm looking down, I'm reading off uh, the printed paper here. Um, item number two uh, is the Al Alegria donation before we discuss it and uh, get an update from John on it. I'm wondering if there's any comments from the public. Nope, no comments on item two. Uh, John, do you wanna give us an update on this? Sure. Um, as indicated in the, the staff report, the artist for the Ale Alegria sculpture, which is the one in Village Park, it's uh, sort of in the center of the park there. Um, that sculpture has been on loan to the city for a few years. And the artist has uh, indicated that he'd like to donate it to the city. Um, and so per the, the policy for do uh, donation of artwork, um, the, you as the commission, will have an opportunity to discuss and um, decide to either recommend to the city council that the city accept the sculpture or um, take, you know, not recommend it. And so therefore it would not, uh, it wouldn't go to the city council for exception and would go back to the artist. And, and just for some background or, oh, sorry, Hillary. Not I. Okay, I was just going to add a, a bit of background for members of the public that the artist is also the same artist that brought us Cosmic Bliss, which is our new piece that came in, I believe, last Thursday. Is there an official name for that park, John? No, it's not. It's just it's just a green space. Okay, it's on the corner of um, uh, Springer and El Monte. So uh, I'll open it up for discussion if uh, anyone has anything to say about accepting Allegria or not accepting Allegria. I'm, I'm in favor of it. I like Allegria. I, I just have a quick question, which is, are, are there any restrictions if we accept the donation? Do we completely own it? Does the city completely own it? Yes, yes. So Thank any you. maintenance issues um, fall under city jurisdiction? Okay. Yep. And um, maybe it's a, a question I don't remember on the review. I think it was last meeting of all the maintenance issues. I think that one needs a little bit of a power wash at some point, but that's, I think the only problem with that particular piece. That's correct. I have my notes in front of me. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, and I know for myself, I get stuck on Edith uh, in traffic waiting to make a left on San Antonio. And I, I like that piece. It, it's a little pop of color. And when we have wind, it moves. And I, I think it's a fun piece. And I agree with Hillary. I would recommend that we accept it. But, um, you know, if, if there's somebody who feels different, they should feel free to speak up. I, I agree. I like it. It's also generous of the artists so i would like to accept it and not tell them we don't want it <laughs> so it's it's a nice culture and and maybe one other uh, tidbit and john can correct me if i'm wrong prior to that piece being in village park we had another piece by the same artist and i i don't yep. recall the name of the piece but but it's the second piece he's had in that park that's correct mm -hmm. all we right also have very nice constitution and character He's a great guy. He's a nice guy. And I sent him a, a, a email thanking him for bringing Cosmic Bliss. And I also sent him the electronic version of the cover of uh, the town crier so he could see he made the front page. So I think he was mm -hmm. very excited by that. Well, I make a motion to accept it. All right. Um, if no one else will make a motion, I make a motion that we recommend the city accept the donation of Alegria. 
Okay. I'll second that. Second. John, you want to go ahead and do a roll call on that? Yep. Uh, okay. Chair Waldman? Yes. Vice Chair King? Yes, for my five. <laughs> and Commissioner Corrigan? Yes. Commissioner Couture? Yes. And Commissioner Janjigian? Yes. Motion passes five to zero. Yay. So for Yay. next steps, I will I will put together a, a, a very short staff report to get it onto the city council's agenda just as soon as I can um, with the commission's recommendation. And uh, for newer members of the commission at that point, should at least one of us should be in attendance in case there's any questions from the city council, correct? It would be helpful. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I would hope that there won't be any questions, but it would be helpful to have somebody there in case. And yes, would it go on the consent know. calendar? Or? I normally am at every city council meeting, so just make sure I know. Okay. Um, I don't believe I'll be able to get it on for the March 8th, so it'll probably be the March 22nd council meeting. Yep. Uh, and, and as... <laughs> uh, <laughs> And as Chair Waldman was indicating, it will it will most likely be a consent calendar item. So it'll probably, as long as it stays on the consent calendar, will be very early in the meeting. Okay, good deal. And it will stay in its place. That will be its permanent home where it is now. Uh, um, yes, and, and until the the commission has a recommendation or a, a desire to move it. But yes, it'll stay where it is. Lovely. Thank you. Okay. Item number four. Midnight Stomp series, and before we discuss this, uh, uh, Monica, yes. did you want to skip number three, or did you want to? Oh, I'm sorry. Do did number I, three. I skip Mother Hen. My poor Mother Hen. It's my Mother Hen. It's one of my favorites. Okay, I stand corrected. Thank you. Uh, item number three, Mother Hen location. So I took it uh, upon myself before, actually, before I discuss this, I should double check if there's any comments from the public on. Mother Hen, we uh, have purchased it back in uh, December 2021, and it is uh, in downtown, and it's in front of Falk Cabin, and right now uh, the uh, outdoor dining for that restaurant is banging up against poor Mother Hen, so the thought was we should move it. So um, any comments from the public as far as possible relocation? Nope. Okay. Um, so I'll go ahead and, and start um, as I took myself as the subcommittee of one to look at Mother Hen and a possible relocation. My cat is climbing and about to knock stuff over. Um, I went over and I spoke to the folks in the restaurant and they love that piece. They love having it there. It brings attention to the restaurant. They asked, well, is it the tables? Are they in the way? I said, yes, they're in the way. Uh, spoke to people outside the restaurant and they said, someone just took a selfie with the piece. Please mm -hmm. don't move it. Um, and um, I'm wondering if we can just move it back a, a, a little bit and keep it in its current location and perhaps move it slightly so the back end of Mother Hen is not facing the street. And one reason I bring this up is I know city staff is stretched really tight. I'm about to make sure my cat doesn't knock something over here. Um, and I know we're having a lot of sculpt new sculptures come in. So we're asking a lot of city staff as far as installing pieces. And if we can make their lives a little bit easier at another time, we might decide to move it somewhere else. But I think at this point, I'm okay with just repositioning it, maybe moving it back six inches, eight inches a foot, and um, you know, keeping it where it is. Would that solve the problem, Monica? Is that enough? Or would signage solve a problem? Or do we need to physically move it, do you think? I, I think we have to physically move it slightly. Um, I, I'm afraid that people, oh, here's my cat, people are, um, moving the i don't know if it's the restaurant moving the tables or outside diners moving the table and you know we all have moments where we move things in in stores and restaurants and we're kind of oblivious and i think people are just moving those tables and smacking into it where it is so okay. if, if we can move it back slightly and and 
maybe as a subcommittee is of one, John, you and I can work on on going out there and ensuring that a slight movement or on the other side um, closer to the intersection. Uh, yeah, would you, I was gonna ask if you'd like me to, would you like me to share the street view of yes. it so people can kind of see what you're envisioning? Okay. Yes. Yeah. And I think, I think Monica, we wanna make sure that it's still positioned so people can do selfies with it, right? I mean, we wanna make sure that it's still. Yeah, that, and, and that would yeah. imply that the majority, uh, you know, the, that it's still facing uh, right. the businesses. But we also had right. comments about the backside of the chicken facing the street as well. So if we can find a delicate balance. Well, it's got a, yeah, that's going to be the hard balance. Yeah, yeah the oh, chicken has oh, two sides yeah. to it. So, right, um, yeah. <laughs> so, so Hillary, we... just for a little background here, uh, John is showing the street view of uh, Mother Hen. I see, yeah, I can see it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the way you're speaking is that it's not bolted, right? It it is, but um, we could we could uh, remove the bolts and and what uh, Chair Waldman is talking about is sort of you see there's the extra space on the concrete, right? Uh, move, okay. Moving it moving it back towards this side over here. Okay, I think, I I think that's a great idea. Oh, yeah, because when you said move it, I figured how you know if it's bolted, but you can move the the base. Yeah, you can move yeah, so it on the base. It's got round base as part of the sculpture, but we can move it on the the path right, so right. slightly backwards. Right. And the the picture that John is showing right now looks like it was taken prior to the outdoor seating uh, that happened with COVID. I think the restaurant always had outdoor seating, but they've got a lot more now. So. Yeah. How about if you just turn it around? It would be. Bring that. Well, then can it you would do be, that? It, you mean the, with the face uh, facing the street, or um, yeah, if you turn around. it around, so that. Um, sorry, go uh, go on, Lucy. No, I was just going to say, if you turn it all the way around, then it would be on the right and on the correct side, but it would be facing the opposite side. No, um, I, I I'm thinking maybe turning it. 15, 20 degrees, maybe, but um, maybe yeah. rebolting. Maybe rebolting is the answer. And I think worst case is we just if we can actually move it back uh, a little bit. Um, that way, it's still facing uh, the businesses, and as Hillary said, it still allows people who are walking. Right. Like, oh, I want to take a selfie. They can still do it. So. Uh -huh. Okay, I was trying to make it a little easier. <laughs> But I, I I would like it moved back just a bit, just because those those tables keep hitting it. And now that it's actually city owned, we would prefer that the mosaic pieces not get smashed. So right, right. So for mother oh. hen's protection, um, do we need to make a, a motion in order to? Um, to do this, John, or should you and I go back out there? And just double check it's doable and bring this back to the next meeting. Um, I think well, I think it's doable. Um, and so I think if if the commission wants to to move it back a little bit, I would I would suggest a motion just um, approving uh, relocating it. Well, do we even need a motion? Hmm. You know, a motion would be would be nice. Um, just a motion approving moving it back. Um, on its existing pad, um, so it's further away from the sidewalk. Okay. Well, I'll uh, as, as the subcommittee of one, I Anita, will make Anita's, a motion. Anita's Sorry, hand Anita? is up. Anita's hand is up. Oh, Anita. Yes. Um, just a quick question: Is there any identification on that thing anywhere about the name or the artist? I believe that uh, hang on. Have a, I have that. On. Terry that has yeah, there. Uh, hang on. I have that note. Just a minute. I'm just wondering if you move it back a little bit, the concrete is still going to abut the sidewalk, and there's going to be still a temptation for people to shove tables or chairs. As long as there's concrete, they'll put the corner of a something on there. 
Um, if there is a sign and you put the sign kind of in the way of where somebody can try to put a corner of a, uh, a chair leg, it might help protect it. But I don't, I, you know, I'm down there all the time and I've just never paid any attention to whether there's a sign. But there is a, there is a plaque, but there's no sign that says don't touch and no sign is going to stop people from touching it. No, I'm not talking about the touching. I'm talking about the fact that if you move it, the concrete pad still abuts the sidewalk and people will still turn cat their the chair cattywampus and scrunch it onto the edge of the the um the base so uh, the interesting thing about the pad that it's sitting on i didn't even realize it was on a pad because it so the mosaic piece sits on a round mosaic um base and that's all you can see. You can't see the pad underneath because the um, redwood bark shavings that are there cover the entire pad. Ah, okay. So it's camouflaged. So um, I hear what you're saying because if you, if you give someone an inch, they'll take a foot, right? The, the restaurant will say, oh, more, more pad for us to, to, more concrete for us to push our tables on. Um, but my thinking is that perhaps uh, the uh, redwood bark will protect us from that. Got John it. Was, John okay, I'll, I'll be quiet now. No, no, not at all. I, no, I, I, I tend try, to agree. Why don't we try moving it? And if it's still a problem, then we can kind of go to the next step. But I think if we can, if the con if the redwood chips will kind of prevent the this vacuum from happening then maybe that will be the solution but why don't we try it and if we do have to kind of go further and put up a give mother hen or space we can go to that next but i think let's let's try and see if this will work i mean it's nice to have a problem that can be rel relatively easily solved so let's try it yeah this might be our easiest one yet yes <laughs> it was really nice. i make a motion for somebody else yeah. oh wait anita's got her hand up anita yes Anita? That may have, that may have been from earlier. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll make a motion that uh, we go ahead and move Mirtha Hen uh, a little bit further away from the sidewalk at the discretion of uh, whoever and John, if, it, if, it, if it, whichever of us commission people are there with John to make it a little less close. Tempting. Tempting. All right, I'll second that. John, you okay. want to do a roll yep. call? Yep, I will. Uh, and we're going to do it different. Uh, Commissioner Jan Jigian. Yes. Commissioner Couture. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Commissioner Corrigan. Yes. And Vice Chair King. Yes. And Chair Waldman. Yes. Motion passes five to zero. All right, and John, um, you will um do you need me as the subcommittee of one to join you, either you or the maintenance folks when it gets moved or do you just open it up to uh whatever whoever from the commission can make it um however you would like um we can make sure we schedule it a time that you can be there um or if another commissioner wants to be there uh, we can schedule it then as well okay um I'm okay with whenever I, I can go out there and then if for some reason it can't be moved, then it then we'll put it back on the agenda. And hopefully that will not happen. Okay. Um, to the item that I jumped to by mistake, uh, the Midnight Stomp series, before we discuss it, any uh, comments from the public? Nope. Okay, John. Take it away on the Midnight Stomp series. Sure. And, and just very briefly, uh, the reason I, I put this on the agenda um, was um, perhaps a bit of confusion on my part uh, more than anything. And so I apologize for that if it is completely on my uh, confusion. Um, but as we were going through the um, placement of the sculptures for the Call for Art, um, I did not connect that one of the, or a series of sculptures was gonna go where the Midnight Stomp series was. Um, and so um, it, it, it seemed prudent to take some sort of action on the Midnight Stomp series, if we're gonna uh, replace them with sculptures from the new Call for Art. 
Um, and so wanted to have an opportunity for the commission to discuss um, the pieces have been on loan to the city for um, a number of years. A few years ago, the artist approached the city about the city potentially purchasing them um, at a discount um, from what they would normally go for or normally be sold for. Um, at the time, the commission um, recognized that the city did not have funds uh, or did not have a lot of funds set aside um, and certainly not sufficient funds for the asking price of the sculptures um, to purchase them. And so at the time we extended the, uh, the loan agreement uh, period for another two years. Um, that two years has since lapsed. Um, and so uh, really there's, it's, it's up to the commission to discuss and decide um, what we would like to do. Uh, again, the, the loan agreement, uh, the loan period has expired. And so if we like, we could ask the artist to come pick them up. Um, or if we want to extend it, if we want to purchase it, if we want to um, uh, move them, um, we can have all sorts of conversations about. All right, I'm, I'm gonna give one uh, piece of his uh, historical piece of information for our newer uh, commissioners that um, we'd asked Jamie when uh, she was our staff liaison to get a hold of uh, is it, uh, the artist and, and see if we could extend it again. And we were on under the understanding that she had had that done that or that that was in progress. So um, it's a little surprising that that, that didn't happen. Um, and also I was under the impression that the pieces the, from the new call for art that we're talking about taking that spot, I thought they were going to go in front of the the spot for the flying car. Uh, the flying car uh, is it Asco? Is I think the name of the company. Yes. And I, so that that's where they're going, correct? The the they look like uh, kaleidoscopes almost. So um, was there anything that was supposed to go where Midnight Stomp series currently is? And I, I looked to the subcommittee members on that one. Okay, so- uh, So Monica, uh, that may be my misunderstanding um, because I thought the Midnight Stomp was leaving. So we, that's why. So it will be kind of weird because Midnight Stomp's right there and then and like one more block down would be the three others. It seems like that'd be close together, but what do I know? Well, we have plenty of spots where we have more than one sculpture within this, you know, a block or, or two block area in downtown. So right now, Midnight Stomp, we had to kind of figure out what to do with, but there seems to be, I had also thought it was going in front of the flying cars, but it sounds like no, it was supposed to go where, where Midnight Stomp is, um, correct? And so we need to decide, do we want to try to keep, keep Midnight Stomp or move Midnight Stomp and put the new ones there, correct? Correct, and I, I think actually, where Midnight Stomp is, it's not necessarily the best spot for any sculpture. Um, yeah, it gets lost. Yeah. It does get lost. Now, the, the Kaleidoscope, and I don't remember the name of the series, so forgive me, but those are a little more colorful, so they may stand out against the Safeway building. But um, I, I know um, I, I get comments from people that unless you walk past them, like some people who walk. Don't see it. Yeah, exactly. That they don't get seen. So um, do we, if we were to buy Midnight Stomp, do we have an idea of what would be a good location for it? Or is it something we want to maybe let as it's had its time and let it go and put the other ones there? I, I think I would let it go. I mean, it seems to me given that, you know, we're bringing in a lot of new art, it seems like a waste of resources to move this sculpture somewhere else. I would, I actually think they're perfect for that location. They kind of 
I think the colors work with the buildings and the surrounding areas. And I think people like them there. And I think I would just find another location for the other art. Um, uh, you know, again, just, you know, the idea of moving something just to put in a new piece of art and having two separate installations doesn't make sense to me, you know, in a research constrained environment. I would just leave it there and then find another spot for the other art. Which um, is called maybe, magnify. It's called yeah, magnify. And, magnify. Yeah, and maybe, okay. and maybe, um, sorry. That's, really, that's, a good, that's good thinking. Yeah, I like that thought. And, and maybe, maybe I don't know if we do this, but maybe ask the car folks whether they would like or not like the sculpture in front of their their you know display window. Because um, I think I mean I think it was wonderful, Monica, that you got that feedback from the restaurant about how they love Mother Hen. That's fantastic. And and it seems like it would be nice to partner with the people who are going to be seeing that every day when they go to their jobs, but. Um, and, and I also want to thank John for putting this on the agenda. I think it was a really good move so we could talk about it. So, well, I wonder if the subcommittee could either get that feedback from the store and or suggest another location. But I do like Janet's reasoning that it's kind of a waste of resources to move it, although that does mean we have to look into purchasing Midnight Stop and kind of make it official. Um, well, there's been but, there's been three businesses so far there since Safeway opened. So... The likelihood of flying car staying there, I think, is probably minimal. Yeah, I agree. So I don't know why we should have to ask them anything, honestly. It is well, we don't. It's not that we should have to ask them. I'm just saying it as a courtesy. Nice. As a um, but, um, but could you know? Couldn't we instead of moving, jumping to buying, couldn't we approach the artists and do an extension? Well, that, that's what, as, as a commission, that's what we had um, asked city staff to do uh, about six months, six plus months ago, and it didn't get followed through. And I'm not blaming John. John wasn't our staff liaison at the time. Um, and I, I don't know if the artist would extend it or not. Um, I, I know that, that the previous chair spoke to the artist. She said she was willing to extend it, but of course, that's not the same as John approaching the artist and, and having a signed piece of paper. So, um, I, so I, from what I'm hearing, um, do we want to, I guess there's probably two things here. The one is, um, the first one is, do we want to possibly extend the loan? And if so, then we have to look for maybe a different location for Magnify if that would be um, acceptable, or do we want to not extend the loan, ask the artist to come and, and pick up Midnight Stomp? We don't know when she would be able to do that and then put Magnify in. I, I think I'd like to follow up on what the commission had originally intended and just you know reach out and just see if we could get an extension. And then, and then if we can't, then we have a decision, a decision to make. John, um, mm -hmm. um, obviously we have to, I guess we have to make a motion to do that, even though it was previously requested by the commission. Yeah, yeah it, it would be helpful since we have uh, a number of new commissioners um, to, to have a motion for it. Okay. Um, Janet, you want to make a motion? I'm sure. I, I uh, would like to move that we uh, contact the artist for Midnight Stomp and see if the artist would be willing to grant the city of Los Altos an extension for displaying Midnight Stomp in its current location. For two years or four years or what? It would be two years. Two years. I second the motion. Okay. Um, We'll do reverse order again. Commissioner Jan Jigian. Yes. Commissioner yes. Couture. Yes. Commissioner Corrigan. Yes. Vice Chair King. Yes. And Chair Waldman. Yes. Motion passes five to zero. And um, John, can I ask that uh, we have an agenda item or keep this on the agenda that in a combination of just item number the next one that we're coming call for art because we either we'll need to talk we'll need to talk about magnify in the next meeting we should have yeah so so what i was going to suggest is i'll reach out to the artist 
Um, if the artist is amenable to a two-year extension, then I'll make sure we do process the paperwork. Um, and then I will report back at the next meeting of, of such. Um, I don't know if, if there's no problems, I don't know that there's a need for an agenda item. If there's a problem or, you know, the artist says, well, I don't want to extend it. I want to do this. Um, then certainly I'll put it on the agenda for discussion. Um, the next agenda item is the call for art. And so we can talk about the magnify on that agenda item. Um, I anticipate we'll also have that um, on the agenda for the next meeting as well. So we'll be able to okay. talk about magnify. Okay, perfect. All right, and that makes for a good segue for our next item, which is the call for art. And before we discuss it, are there any comments from the public on our call for art and our placement of our new sculptures? All right, I don't hear anything. John, do you have any updates? We have two new pieces in the city. Yeah, Yay. so um, thank you to everybody who uh, went out during the installs. Um, thank you for sending the pictures. Um, very exciting that they're, um, the sculptures are in um, and exciting that uh, we got so much coverage on the uh, front page of the, the, the newspaper, um, which is great. Um, continuing to work with the other artists on uh, scheduling their installations. Um, we did bless run you. into it. Yeah, bless you. <laughs> we did. We did run into a snag on the staff side, um, where the uh, individuals or some of the individuals who will prepare the concrete pads um, for the sculptures um, were called out of the office or were were unable to come into work. Um, I think you can guess why. Um, and so um, that put a delay on our installing the concrete pedestals. Um, the artists that I've been working with have been very understanding of that and uh, willing to work. Um, and so continuing to work on that. Um, and as those get scheduled, I will of course reach out to uh, all of you to let you know. So hopefully that you can uh, come and uh, see the artwork being installed, uh, meet the artist, etc. cetera. Um, I did want to report there is one artist who um, the, uh, the commission approved installing some work from him um, that is having some logistical issues. Um, one, he's, he's trying to see if he can make it work. Um, he is based on the East Coast and um, has some new family members, a, a, new, a new child, and so is trying to figure out um, when he can get out here, if he can get out here. Um, so I'm still working on that and we'll keep you updated um, on my conversations with that. Um, John, can, can you identify which piece or pieces those are? So it's, he ha I believe he had two. Um, it's the, the heart, um, I apologize. I, I don't remember the name of it off the top oh, of my yeah, head. I got it all. You got it all. Okay. Well, his um, name is Damien, correct? No, Damien was the one who just installed. Oh, that's the one who did this the, the other oh, day. Okay. Um, I, I I'm sorry, I don't have the name right off. But I he had that he had that one, and then he had, I believe, it was a big one um, that the sort gear. of looks like, like a, a gear. gear. Yeah. Um, and so, like I say, I've called Sunrise. <laughs> yeah. I'm still working with them, trying to see what we can do to make it work, um, including whether or not um, he can ship it out and city staff potentially, if it's an easy enough install, do the install ourselves. That would be um, very not. expensive for him to do. It, it would be. So, and that's, that's part of his, um, what he's trying to figure out and, sort of the okay. conversation that we're having. So I will of course keep you all updated. Um, as I mentioned, we'll have it, we'll have this on the agenda next month. Hopefully I have a better idea of what's going on with him. Um, if I hear something ahead of time um, and, and can schedule it, of course, I'll let you know uh, when the, the, the uh, install will be scheduled. Um, but that's sort of where we're at right now. And do you know if we have any potential installs over the next month? Because we've had two in less than a week, which was a almost too much excitement for the commission. 
<laughs> um, it, a lot of it will depend on when the uh, the concrete pads can be poured. Um, I know a couple of the artists um, were ready to come down right away and install, um, but we just didn't have the concrete pads. Um, I, I appreciate that it is uh, a lot very quickly, um, but that's <laughs> some of that is by design. Um, as in my talks with the maintenance staff, um, their preference is if we can do even if we can do two on the same day, um, that's better for them than rather than doing one one day and then the next day and the next day and the next day, um, or spreading them out over weeks. And so, um, as as I'm scheduling, I'm trying to keep those two things in mind just because. It takes a lot to mobilize a crew, equipment, um, take them away from the work, the other work that they have to do. And so, um, if, like I say, maintenance staff's preference is either do a couple on the same day or spread them out, um, you know, maybe one a week sort of thing. But, um, and a lot of it will depend on the, the artist's schedules. Okay. And I just wanted to let everyone know I sent a thank you uh, email in regards to the, the city staff who were able to help us get our sculptures in because we, you know, vote on the call for art and have the sculptures come, but we're not the ones who are driving the heavy equipment and machinery and helping with the install. And we are very appreciative of their efforts, or at least I'm appreciative of their efforts. They do it. They do a fantastic job. It, ta it takes a, a village to get an, a uh, sculpture installed, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Do we, uh, it, and I, I, Lucy, I believe you watched Cosmic Bliss uh, installed as well, right? You saw that it, it takes the artist a while. And right. Pretty staff. Right. And it was wonderful. The city guy came just in time and uh, he helped him put it up and uh, Something was in the way, so it was good I was there. I moved it out so that they could put it up. But uh, he needed help. He needed help. He couldn't have done it alone. Couldn't do it. No. So, so I stand corrected. We do actually help put, put the sculptures up, so I stand corrected. Right. right, so it was very interesting, and he was very pleasant to talk with. And he said he had put two the day before in Mountain View. In Mountain in View. In a closed uh, section, in a gated place, called Pyramid Park, I believe. It's it's like yeah. a private yeah. private uh, right. yeah. And yeah. then for for the rest of the commissions uh, to know, uh, John, whenever there's an install, you contact the Los Altos Town Crier and let them know. Correct. Yes. Okay. All right. Do we have anything else on our um, call for art installations? Well, so the, the other thing that I think then now perhaps the commission would like to discuss is uh, magnify what uh, what the commission would like to do with the location of magnify or for the location of magnify. So I, I think Terry had a good point that there's been two or three businesses in the location where the flying car business is right now. So um, in general, we don't go to the business ahead of time and say we're about to put a sculpture in place. We don't, you know, ask for permission. Um, it is city land, but I just wanted to add that. Uh, and and uh, Terry, you felt that it was going to be too much having Magnify there and Midnight Stomp a block away. The only thing I know is that a lot of the public has asked for art in South Los Altos. Um, so I hate to not make another run at trying to find a, a place down in South Los Altos to put something, although we'll have more art. It's it, whatever you all are comfortable with, I'm fine with. I I just I think that's a really good point. You raise a really good point. Do we have another space down there in South Los Altos or another space in mind? Or can we go go look for one or go think about one? Um so my thought is perhaps um, in preparation for our next meeting, which would be end of March, is if the subcommittee, um, I don't believe they are disbanded at this point, John will correct me if I'm wrong, but if they could maybe look for another location 
and we'll know by the next meeting if Midnight Stomp, hopefully we'll know if Midnight Stomp is staying. We can do that. We had made some notes on some other places, but we didn't really formalize anything. So do we need to make a motion for that? No, I don't think or, so. No, because um, it's the subcommittee, it, so. Yeah, okay. it falls within the, the purview yeah. of the subcommittee. Okay. So, so yeah, the subcommittee could could uh, have some preparatory notes that may or may not come in handy. So we're, we may be making work for you that, that is not, uh, Come, does not come to fruition, and if that's the case, good exercise. Good, ex exactly. Nice weather out yeah, there. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was wondering, uh, what's the name of the one they put? Yes, uh, that after the cosmic thing, they put another one yesterday it's, or before yesterday. It's called Day on the Serengeti. Oh, Day on the Serengeti. Okay. Yeah, I saw it after the artist had left. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would have liked to see it with, but I couldn't get there. It, it was quite the show watching him install it. I can imagine. But at least you get to enjoy the piece now that it's there. Right, right. It's lovely. The title's perfect, too. Yes. And um, I, I want to thank the subcommittee for selecting that spot and... Um, I was talking before the meeting started that I didn't think it was going to look good there, and I stand corrected. It looks really wonderful in the spot that was selected. So mm -hmm. kudos to the uh, subcommittee. All right. Uh, on to our next agenda item. If we have nothing else to say about our call for our locations and our subcommittee having more work to do. Um, the community art engagement project. Before we start discussing that, do we have any comments from the public? Uh, Monica, if I can, I, did I think dance with me was on the agenda, or did we have a not that? Uh, that no, was not it, on the that's gonna, that comes. We got two more. It's number items. eight. Number eight. I'm sorry. Okay. You sorry. are. You are now. Now you're jumping the gun. So yeah, we don't worry. Dance with me is on the agenda. Um, all right, okay. so the community art engagement project, um, our everybody is an artist and hometown haiku. We have two projects to discuss and I'll hand it over to the people on the subcommittee to uh, keep us abreast of what's going on. Yeah, Janet, can you talk about everybody as an artist? I'm kind of cutting in and out as we go over the past, but so Janet, can you talk first about everybody as an artist? Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, so. Uh, as you may recall, we decided to reschedule the event uh, for a variety of reasons. And so the date that was selected was March 19th uh, at the community center from one to three. Um, so uh, a new flyer has been issued and uh, posted in the community center and a variety of other spots around town. And my understanding is that Commissioner Moore also um, posted it on Nextdoor. I sent the flyer and some information to, um, to a network that I have in Los Altos. And, um, and I don't know um, if we, well, let me back up. Um, I also confirmed, thanks to John's help, that the image that we want to use, um, we, we, we can do it and there's no issue with copyright. Uh, and Paint the Town is looking at making that image um, uh, in a form that people who are not really artists can actually paint it and walk away with something that they'll be happy with. And so I'm just waiting for them to, to give, get back to me on that. Um, it's and, a painting of the orchard, I think you said. Yeah, that's right. It's a it's a, it's the Los Altos Heritage Orchard with um you know the I think it's the mustard flowers in front of it and two little kids. It's really it's beautiful, um, and I think it was Commissioner Moore or was it you, Commissioner King, who found it? But it was it was beautiful. Um, and then the only thing I think that we're trying to track is two things: continue the comms, and um, hopefully get a mention in the uh, city manager's weekly update, you know, something that just says, hey, this is happening, um, and then continue uh, the the reach out on, you know, social media. Um, and then maybe, I don't know, John, if you have an update, have, have we gotten any RSVPs yet, or I don't, it's kind of early. Um, I, I will have to check for sure, but I know we had some interest from uh, a handful of people the first time. Yeah. Um, uh, and so I would assume that they will be interested still, um, but I will have to double check and see if we have any firm commitments so far. That sounds wonderful. So yeah, so maybe um, 
the subcommittee can just we'll stay in touch with you. Okay. Excuse me, I didn't get what's happening on the 19th. What's happening on the 19th? March 19th, you said. This is a public outreach event that we discussed in December I and see. in January. And it's the where people will be able to go to um, to the community center and paint an image on a canvas that they'll be I able see. to take home with them. Oh, okay. Thank you. So sure. are we are we encouraged to be there that day, sort of? I or? think so, yeah. I think it's a great opportunity for, for us to meet people. You don't have to. No, but what time would that be? Is it um, for it's um it's um one to three. Okay, thank you. I yeah, I think we should if you could at least I mean I plan to come by wearing my badge and saying hello, welcoming people for sure. Um I think if we can, I think that's that would be a great thing to do. Um, and we want to get pictures of the finished product and everything as well. Um, thank you, Janet, though, for that report. They've done a great job kind of pivoting and, and rebooking and everything. Um, before I talk about the hometown IQ, I do want to note that this is where having our own social media platform will be essential and critical. It's great that we can get word out via the city manager's email and next door but it would be something that i hope we can have i've tried to get on the agenda is kind of having a social media outlet for the commission and i'll just keep pushing on that uh moving on to hometown haiku um on that note because we are using kind of the same forms to push things i'm also i'm also a little bit concerned that sometimes the message gets muddled um this is something i thought of as a way for national poetry month which is april we could encourage residents in a contest that would um, award prizes to people who could describe Los Altos in seven um, in 17 syllables, um, which I we can do, and we the subcommittee has talked about it. I am a little bit concerned now that we are pushing so we're trying so hard to get people's attention for various projects. I am worried it's going to get muddled, um, so I'll take the feedback or note on that. Um, but this would be something we could do for Poetry Month: award um, gift card prizes to different age categories from kindergarten on up through um, all of our residents. And then hopefully either try to get them posted somewhere, published in the town crier, or even put on um, yard signs and put maybe somewhere around the library or orchard. Um, so that's what that is. I think there's a proposal that I wrote on the agenda. So the I remember the city of Palo Alto had these, um, there were posters that they posted all over their place with uh, like positive messages, which is, I think, kind of your vision for the hometown haiku being printed and put around the library, correct? Not necessarily positive, but, but haiku, yes. <laughs> I know, haiku can be not positive, but um, let me ask John and maybe Anita would know the answer. Um, is there any uh, indication that we'll be meeting back in the council chambers anytime in the next two, three months? Well, that's a very good question. Um, the short answer is it depends. Um, and the long <laughs> answer is it depends on if the council chamber or when the council chambers uh, project construction project is completed, um, as well as um, when the city council makes a determination that uh, in-person or hybrid or some form of combination of meetings um, is appropriate for the city. Okay, and the reason I asked is I thought maybe we could take the haikus or some of them, print them and um, display them in the new city, the, the renovated city council chambers. I think maybe they would get more viewing in front of the library, but. Yeah, we could. We could do that in Lacey. I mean, we could, you know, we could put them on yard signs if we wanted to do like the top three or five and put the yard signs in front of the orchard or something for a week or something. Um, we could ask the town crier to publish them or, you know, we could run them on the city website um, or on the Lacey Arts Commission website. We could maybe get rec to see it, the rec department since they have a social media, if they would put them on there. Um, so there's different ways we could put them. Um, I would like to get feedback though. Are we trying to do too many things and having to put out too many calls? I do, so I do have a concern about that. I think I've been kind of reassured that we are, but I want to make sure that I'm not going to be kind of casting a net and nothing coming in. Or so, casting a net and nothing coming in. 
right now we've got um, two things, and, and this kind of segues into uh, the next agenda item, and John will, will tell me to stop if I'm um, muddying the waters here. But we do have a call for art for the community center, and we also have the, um, it's not a call, but the everybody is an artist. Right. Um, so we're already trying to recruit That's people great, for right, programs. Yeah. Right, exactly. So I don't um, concern that, are we kind of using our bandwidth? Um, limited as it is, but maybe well, I'm just imagining that. I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. so the, uh, and John will touch upon how many people have uh, contacted him or submitted anything for item seven in a minute, but um, between that, which is supposed to be March 1st and then March 19th, then we ha don't have anything in April. I guess the question is for the hometown haiku, how baked is the program? Because you're saying that, well, we'll display them here. We might display them there. Um, we might have, uh, you know, different categories. Um, how ready of a program uh, do you have for well, the proposal codes? that I sent? So I think that's in the documents. Um, I can, you know, getting it ready is not too tough. It's getting word out. That is always our challenge. Um, and just remains being. So, I mean, you could say, here's an email address, you can send in your entry, or, and we have a drop off box at City Hall, drop your entry here. It's just getting the word out, um, kind of rolling that stone uphill again. Anita, were you going to say something? Looked like you were going to. Okay. Um, how do people feel? Do they think we have too much uh, when we're trying to get get the public to acknowledge that you know the the uh, arts commission is out there and we're, we no, either have really. programs for people or programs where they can participate? Are we trying to bite off too much? And and Hillary is is right that it's hard for us to get the word out on anything. So I mean that's also you know. Pretty high. It's a pretty high hurdle to jump. Keep in over. mind, we're hoping to have some farmers market activities going on too in spring. But we're reaching to different kinds of people, different groups for different things. Like one is poetry, one is art. So uh, I think it's good because it's it's reaching different arts, different kinds of art. Yeah, I mean, haiku is not a visual, other than if we print it out and put it on a poster, but it's not a visual form of art. Yeah, but it would it would uh, attract a different kind of person than from an artist who is a painter or a sculptor. I think it's good to give different arts opportunities, not just sculpture or just painting. You know, I don't know. That's how I feel. I, I I agree with Lucy. I think that that's a good point. Okay, we'll try it. We'll see. Yeah. Um, I'll see what I'll happens. Down where we can get the results. Have you done I think have, gift cards. Okay, Wait, a question. Has it been done before or is this the first time? This would be the first time here. It's a pretty, I mean, haiku contests are pretty common. The There's a bakery in Petaluma that has a pie one do a haiku about pies every year and it's quite popular um so it's a pretty common contest this is the first one that i know i've done here and i, I would love to see how people describe what's all so i think I, it'd be I fun. Think, yeah i think it should be exciting then it's something new for the people here so that's good okay we will try that i'll try to nail a place to present them to the public and then we'll go ahead and get it going I don't, we already, I think approved it the last one. I don't think we need to do a motion. Do we, Monica or John? I don't think we do. And and, and I, okay. I wanted to echo what uh, Lucy said and, and Janet agreed with that. I think it's a form of uh, art um, that we as a commission have not addressed before. And I think the commission, we'd like to do things other than just sculptures and, you know, call for art where we put something on the wall. So I think, I think it's worthy to try. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. As, as long um, as you're still game, will, Hillary. And, and we, um, I, I don't think this made it to the agenda, but we had, I had communicated with John and the outreach 
committee that um, we will like to be have a table at the farmers market, um, and we will I think discuss that further if that does become a possibility. So that's also part of outreach, but we will definitely hopefully be involving the whole commission or other commissioners as well. Nice, that's exciting. Yeah, have have you done it before? That's wonderful. No. We, we've uh, talked yeah. about it many times. Yeah, I think it's great to try new things. We may make it, and I'm we may not. City, but I'm we never. The city is trying to have commit each commission represent at the farmers market. So I think the city is also taking a role in that. Lovely. John, do you want to comment on that at all? Looks like John. Yeah. Um, yeah, as as mentioned, the city is looking at having uh, some tables during the farmers market, and so we can certainly get the public arts commission into sort of the rotation um, to have Great. a table at the farmers market. Perfect. Okay, great. Now, yeah, I'll, I'll send you an email that we can talk more about that later. Yeah. Can I ask a question? What about? I, I'm sure you. I haven't seen a table um, at the arts and wine festival before. You know, they have, you know, twice a year. I have, do you guys have a table out there? I don't remember seeing one. You do? I think public comment is, is not open, is it? Oh, I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry. not. But John, am I allowed to actually answer the question? Sure, okay. if you like. <laughs> the question is, no, we, we haven't had a table in the past. But um, at the... Um, uh, Hillary uh, personed um, at the Rotary show this last yes. uh, summer. Yeah. So we had. And a yeah, one of the art festivals is done by is done by the Rotary. So, um, and the other one, I guess, is what is Art Wine put on by Lava? Uh, is that correct? I believe so. Is yeah. The, yeah, I I think so, but I'm I'm not sure. So we definitely support them, and we were happy to be at the uh, Lincoln in Lincoln Park. Um, gosh, was that this year? No, that was last this year. This summer, last um, summer. Last summer, but um, you know, we're happy, and we do have collaboration proposals. We would love to, but that's different art organizations. So we would have talked about it in the past. It just you know something we can we work on proposing. So. The uh, farmer's market will be a good way for us to kind of get our table and what we want to communicate or do um, with the public as well together. Keeping in mind, these are also all volunteer hours. <laughs> and that also might segue into, we have an agenda item about the art task force that um, yes. that might segue into that. Okay. Um, all right, I think um, on to the next item, the Community Center Art Subcommittee report. And before we discuss that, any comments from the public? And I hear no comments. Um, I can uh, give a little bit of an update and Hillary um, or Lucy can jump in. Actually, let me just say this, um, Hillary, did we get the letters yet? Do you know? We have the letters and um, we're going to wait on getting them up. John, I can't remember well which, why we decided that. Um, we have them in and oh, I asked this, if the city could put them up. That's why. I think so we, we that's left, where yeah. we left it. Yeah. Yes. And then we're just going to get that on the schedule. The city is going to put up the lettering. Um, but they want one of us to be there, which we will certainly be glad to be there to help with that. And we have a call for art for the uh, community center. John, have we had any submissions? We have a March 1st deadline. We it's have. Slowly I, approaching. Yeah, we, we have. Um, it's the last time I looked, we had at least it was. Eh somewhere between six to eight um, submissions so far. Nice. Yay. 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 Great. Um, so we have a few more days for that call for art. It sounds like as long as all of the pieces or um, that are submitted, we have, we have enough space for six to eight, if not more. Um, 
And as long as they follow within our guidelines for art, um, hopefully we will have enough to, to hang. Um, I need to follow up with Mary Jo from Parks and Rec because I asked her if the current show that is up, if we could move the photos from that we made with Anita's help from uh, pictures from the Los Altos History Museum and we frame them, um, if we could move them into the senior South uh, Los Altos Senior Center. And um, I'm gonna write myself a note to follow up with her on that. Um, I don't know if she says that, yes, we could hang them there, then um, I guess next month we can make a motion if we want to move that art uh, exhibit over to the Senior Center in South Los Altos. Um, do we have anything else, Hillary, that we need to touch on for the community center? I think we're still wait. Are, are we still waiting on um, uh, I don't signage for the tower? I think, or do we get that? <coughs> uh, I don't know if we've got signage for the tower. Or the we're still working on it. Okay, sorry, Hillary, I, I cut you off. Go ahead. No, no, John had the answer. Okay. Um, I, all right, I think that was it for the uh, community center. I am very excited to hear that we have gotten uh, entries for our call for art. That's, that's wonderful news. Um, okay, on to the next agenda item. Will you dance with me before we discuss it? Anything from the public, any public comments on will you dance with me? Nope, okay. Um, so will you dance with me? Is I have a public comment. I'm sorry, my hand oh. thing isn't working. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Um, I would, a very brief comment on this piece of art. Um, while I am of the mind in general that art is in the eye of the beholder and anybody on earth can do whatever they want in art, and I strongly, strongly support that, um, I do want to express my opinion that Every time I look at this piece of art and no disrespect to the maker, but it looks like they are making a motion with their hand that um, uh, that is a political statement that I do not like. So uh, that is just a, a completely subjective and personal comment, but I feel compelled to make it because I see it every day. Thank you. All right. Um, the reason that Will You Dance With Me is an agenda item is because the piece has some damage and that was uh, brought to our attention by our maintenance subcommittee that uh, the work needs a, needs a little bit of work. Um, I think the, the question is, do we try to fix it or do we try to just, de it's not decommission, there's another word, uh, for it, but we, we, is it time to decommission this piece? And uh, uh, Hillary, I think you tried to get a hold of the artist and the artist said, bring it down and he would fix yeah, it. Yeah, he said, bring it down and fix it. And he'd fix it, but I couldn't fit it in my car. Um, and I didn't want to strap the artwork to the top of my car. Mm -hmm. um, and then I communicated that to him and I haven't heard back from him. Um, I would maybe vote for decommissioning it. I do think art has a lifespan and um, it's done its, it's served its purpose there and it kind of opens up that space for a while. And then if we bring in other art, it can be there. So I would, I would lean towards let's decommission it. And if we ever get a chance to get it fixed, then maybe we put it somewhere else. Um, but that's where I stand on it. Um, and, and one little piece of history for the new commissioners is the piece was donated by the artist and John might remember what year that was. I don't remember what year. It's been there for a while. But uh, it is owned by the city at this point. So it is, it is ours yeah. to decide what to do with. Does anybody know what kind of paint that is? That I, I don't think it's actually paint. Um, I think the material, the physical it's some material sort of material, is, yeah. Is, is um, delaminating or crumbling or it has, it has holes in it. It's peeling. It's sort of peeling. I walk by it almost every day. It's right near me. And would we put something else up there? It's a nice spot. In case it helps, it was installed in 2013. Mm -hmm. So Commissioner King's point, I mean, I agree, life sometimes has a life, art has a lifespan and, and it's been there a while. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, the, the other option is, um, and, and John will not like this, is we could decommission it and put it in cold storage and one day maybe bring it back. <laughs> well, would you idea. fix it? Would you fix it before you store it? Um, we would probably mothball it as is. And then um, it, one day when someone does an archaeological dig, wherever we store things from the city, um, decide to bring it back and put it in front of City Hall. Um, as is or fixed? Well, I, I would imagine you'd want to fix it. But, That's um, right. Yeah. You know, if somebody thought like this would be great to put in front of a park, um, but I, I kind of agree it's it's uh, with our uh, commenter from the public that it's not one of my favorite pieces. Um, personally, I, I, I am not a big fan. Um, it could be fun in, if we fixed it and moved it maybe in front of the dance studio, but um, if, it's, if it's it's time to go, I, I think it's, it's time to go. I, I don't know if anyone else has an opinion on the piece. We want to take a vote. We'll make a motion. Take a vote. But, um, I, I think it's time to take make a motion to to vote on do if we want to decommission it and um, I guess send it to the scrap heap or storage let's or say. storage. I, I make a motion that we um, decommission. Will you dance with me? from the kind of current sculpture program and move it into storage until a more permanent solution can be found. I will second the motion. Okay. John? Oh, sorry. Um, okay, I will call the roll. Uh, Chair Waldman? Uh, yes. Vice Chair King? Yes. Commissioner Corrigan? Yes. Commissioner Couture? Okay. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> and Commissioner Jan Jigian? Yes. Motion passes five to zero. John, do you have room in your office for it? I do not. <laughs> Could you as is, it? or are you going to fix it and put it anyway? <laughs> he doesn't want it unfixed. Uh <laughs> As part of the the motion, John, um, will we really store it, or will we just? Um, are, is that okay that we we want to store it, or will it just kind of disappear? What I will do is I will talk with our maintenance staff um, about whether or not we can sort of mothball it and store it um, and get their feedback. Um, I believe the. Um, the decommissioning uh, procedures says that we will have a public meeting, um, hold at least one public meeting for the purpose of gathering feedback on a proposed decommissioning. Um, since it was not agendized tonight for decommissioning it, um, what I will do is we'll add it to the agenda next for the next meeting. Um, I'll have a better idea whether or not we can store it uh, and uh, we can, you know, go from there uh, at the next meeting. Can I take uh, formal action to, to decommission it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I just ask a question. Go ahead. Yeah. When the artist, she gave it, it's a gift, right? He, uh, he, he gave it. He, yes. Okay. He gave it. Would he be interested in fixing it? Has anybody asked? Well, Hillary just touched upon that, that uh, she contacted the artist and he said, if, if you bring me, he's in Southern California, if you bring it to me, I will fix it. Oh. Uh, but Hillary said she couldn't fit it in her car. And uh, I see. Well, that's what she was talking about. She, okay. she, she's finishing a trip to Southern California. And yeah, I, I don't know like if any of us really want to go and, driving it yeah. there and back. Right. I, I don't um, know how long it would take to fix either. So. All right. Okay, he's not willing to come up yeah, and. I don't feel like shipping it would be good. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think it's worth no, the expense of shipping it back. Right. Here and back. No, no, it's too expensive. Yeah. It's too expensive. Our shipping is terrible. Okay. Sorry. Sorry if it was. Uh, I, I didn't put the. No, 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 it's here. fine. Um, so, John, we'll, we'll have this on the agenda next time as well. Lovely. Yep. 
Okay. And it, it'll be agendized to indicate that commission is discussing or is going to decide whether to decommission or not. Right. Right. Okay. All right. Um, next item is the Los Altos Art Task Force Group. And before we touch on that, um, I'm going to ask if there's any comments from the public. Okay. Yes, well, I, ha I have oh. a comment. I'm sorry, I have a comment. Yes, go ahead. Um, yes, thank you. Um, I think this, this idea is a great thing. I hope that you move forward with this collaboration. And in particular, um, with the idea about the haiku contest, you know, through collaboration, it might be interesting to consider uh, creating some kind of a contest, for example, where you commission an artist through collaboration with some of the groups that have access to private buildings, you know, to business buildings, to put the winning haikus as decoration in an artful way on a building, and they will forever be, or at least for a long time, be commemorated and, and adored by the public. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I, I think you'll be at our meeting next week as well. Um, Hillary, I know this is your, um, I don't want to use the word term baby, but this is something you've been wanting for a long time. I'll let you touch on it. If you're, uh, yes, this is just grew out of a realization of there's a lot of great things happening with art in Los Altos, um, from various groups, both public and private. Um, but there's not always coordination or communication, so we don't always know um, what other groups are doing, so we can't help either promote them or collaborate with them. So it's really born out of the idea of that, that if we um, can get some of the groups together or all the groups together, then we can maybe find ways to do that. So we um, have emailed as many art groups, both public and private, in um, the city of Los Altos that we could find and we have heard back from several i think we have a, a pretty good number attending um i don't have the list in front of me but i think we have like seven or eight planning we're having a, a zoom meeting next week um inviting everyone just informally to get together and so yeah i think we have about seven or eight of um a lot of the great groups that are doing just great things in los altos and we, we have no agenda we're not here to give marching orders or take marching orders. We're really just here to get everybody together, see if there's ways we can work together or to do some, to help promote each other or collaborate and see what people want to do, see what people think they can do. So that's really where we are. And I think we've actually been really happy to get um, the positive feedback to this idea that people are, this is something people are excited about and want, want to see happen. Um, would you add anything to that, Monica? Uh, no, other than we have um, like the Freestyle Academy, which is a school, a high school program out of Mountain View High, which Mountain View High serves uh, students from both Mountain View and Los Altos. Um, they will be, they're going to have somebody representing uh, their organization. So th there might be a little bit further of a breadth of um, people, not just Los Altos, but um, I think it will be mostly Los Altos centric. And the meeting is, if I recall, March 1st from 5.30 to 6.30. Am I correct, Hillary? That's correct. And again, okay. we are really going in. We don't have an agenda. We really will want to see if people want to do what, what we can do. And hopefully we'll, we'll get, have a good discussion. And um, Janine had a, a good point that maybe some of our calls for art or call uh, our, our haikus and things like that, maybe this would be a good forum to help have them help us get the word out to to increase the focus and increase um, uh, the number of entries we get for these calls. So um, we're, we're going into this not knowing um, what's going to be discussed, but but Hillary described it really well, and um, hopefully we can find some areas of collaboration and and just have an idea of things that are going on in the city. And Terry, you, do you have your hand up? Yes, I yes. do. Is the subcommittee gonna report back to the full committee next meeting then? Yes, I was just gonna say, we will report back at the next meeting. Thank you so much. And uh, since Terry touched on that, mm -hmm. uh, John, you will keep this as an agenda item for um, our next meeting. And we, we will hopefully have a full report and I, I hope for a very positive report. Yes. Perfect. Um, 
Okay, Hillary, did you have anything else on the task force? Uh, the uh, uh, for the was... uh, not at this time. No. Okay. All right. Um, getting close to the end of the agenda. Uh, budget recommendations. Before we go into our budget, are there any comments from the public on our um, budget recommendations? Nope. Okay. John, how are we going to spend our money? <laughs> um, sure. Well, thank you for the the, the the chance to bring this before the commission. Um, we are starting to get into, the city is starting to get into the budget process. Um, as part of the budget process will be um, adjustments to the, to the capital improvement plan. Um, of which we do have a, a couple of projects um, that are related to public art. Um, the the big one is the annual public arts project. Um, this past um, fiscal year, so the one that we are currently in, uh, the city council approved sixty thousand um, dollars towards that project of public art funds. Um, that was um, at the commission's recommendation to cover the cost for uh, call for art, as well as I believe um, some additional work at the community center for the murals. Um, and then as well, um, I believe $35,000 for uh, musical rest, yeah, for restoration of musical gamble. Um, that would involve, I believe that it was a full restoration where the artist or not the artist, excuse me, the, Art restorer um, would come. I can't remember if he was going to do it. He could, they would do it on site, or if they take it to their workshop, work on it, and bring it back and, and reinstall it. Um, that included sort of the full restoration of removing all rust, restoring any of the metal, um, full painting of the piece, etc. And so, um, as indicated in the, the report to the commission, um, any unused funds for the current fiscal year stay in the project um, and sort of roll over from year to year. Um, as well, the commission can recommend, it, recommend um, additional dollars be uh, allocated for the upcoming fiscal year. Um, recommendation from myself, is that the commission identify specific um, dollar or specific uh, uses for the dollars rather than just saying, oh yeah, $100,000 sounds great. Let's recommend $100,000. More of these are the projects and this is the dollar amount that we think we are, they, we think that they will uh, cost and um, we can structure the recommendation that way. Um, in terms of timing, the uh, draft budget and CIP will go to the city council, I believe, towards the end of May. And so um, we have a couple of months to sort of think of ideas and, and um, come up with some recommendations. Um, I would strongly encourage the commission to, by the April um, commission meeting, um, to have their the recommendation fully formed um, so that it can be included as part of the draft that goes to the city council. And I'll just reinforce that timeline because out of courtesy to the staff, um, Mr. Furtado and staff will be putting together the budget for council consideration and being able to meet that timeline would also help them out a lot. Okay, so um at this time i don't think we have any well we'll, we'll go into the work plan but we don't right now have any any uh thing that is a large ticket item that um should be in the budget but i think we need to start thinking about that um as far as maybe um a gateway project or um perhaps um if appropriate uh um doing a call for art and having something site specific made uh if we talk about something site specific when the meeting room gets uh finished it would be nice to have some art in there 
And, and that um, we've had, uh, you're talking about the city council chambers, correct? Yes. So we, we've had some uh, pieces that we borrowed from the History Museum from uh, their, I think it was from Paint the Town, the second Paint the Town. Um, but it would be nice to have like a, a call for art or maybe have some specific so pieces that are, are there permanently. I, I agree. So that might be something to, to add to the budget. Oh, Hillary? Different ways to take a problem and abstract the building block. There we go. Okay. Um, John, um, since as a commission, we've never had the problem of uh, trying to figure out how to, to, you know, how to, to wisely spend money and, and uh, look for art that's appropriate and such. Um, how would you recommend we proceed? Um, well, I think there's a, a couple of ways that we could go. Um, we could certainly talk about potential ideas um, now um, as part of this current agenda item. Um, we could always uh, have a subcommittee who comes up with some ideas and comes back. Uh, we could have each commissioner go away and, and think about sort of some ideas and what potential costs might be. Um, and then at our next meeting in March, um, have a sort of a, a broader discussion um, where we start narrowing down and, and coming up with some ideas. Um, of course, I'm happy to help um, if, you know, you have an idea for a project, um, but don't know, know the first thing about what the cost might be. Um, I probably don't know either, but I can certainly help, uh, help to figure it out. Um, so there's, there's a number of ways, um, that we could go about doing it, um, and it completely at the discretion of the commission, how you'd like to, um, sort of work towards a recommendation. Um, Monica, Janet's hand is up. Oh, Janet, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Terry. Um, so one of the concerns I have is, you know, given the state of finances for the city is to do exactly what you said. Um, Chair Wildman, which is to use the money wisely and spend it judiciously. And so um, I, I like what um, what John said about, you know, maybe each of the commissioners coming up with ideas, but what, what would you also think of maybe trying to survey, you know, Los Altans and to find out what do they want in their city? I mean, to get another data point and then maybe we put all of that information together and then we have a conversation about what are the priorities and, and and I don't even know if we, we would, oh, I guess we're an advisory body of the city council, so you probably don't want to ask them, but um, but basically just get information um, and then make a list of priorities. And then that includes costs so we can decide what would be a good recommendation. Um, I like the idea of surveying people. I know when the city does surveys that unfortunately, sometimes we get a very small percentage of people responding. Um, I've got some experience with that. <laughs> so I, I, I know that uh, uh, May, yeah. end of May is, is actually not that far away is, is my yeah. other concern. Um, and we did, um, we surveyed when we were trying to do a master art plan um, way back when, I think 2017 as well. Um, it would require uh, probably a subcommittee to come up with a survey and then either we make a motion right now to that that they have the ability to come up with a survey and give it to John for John to um, try and uh, push through city um, venues to get feedback before our next meeting, um, which wouldn't which means we'd have to get you'd have to get the survey done and out the door and have a deadline within the next month um and john can correct me if i'm wrong but um i i, I ask uh, my other commissioners if, if they think that's a good hey, idea can we, I, um, can I, because we have it's something we haven't um, done before i think it would be so really hard to get saying, done in this yeah, quickly I think it is something we could collect information on over the summer if we're at the farmer's market because we get a, a great kind of access to the town at that time. And I think that would be great to kind of have that there. 
I think it would be really tough to get a survey just turned around that fast. Is there a way we could come up with uses for this kind of specific funds or part of the funds and then kind of work on surveying over a longer period of time? Maybe what we could do is is say we want to do you know a gateway project or something that's uh, uh, commissioned um, and not have a dollar amount attached to it and and survey you know as Hillary was saying maybe during the summer um, and and I echo what Janet said is I I know the city the finances there's a few issues right. so we don't want to seem like we're just spending money we we want to spend. Our, our money wisely and exactly right, yeah. if, you know, maybe no money will come in for a long time so we have to be very careful with funds. so um, Monica if I if I could I'll, I'll add one other thing um, I don't want the Commission to come away thinking that this is the only time that um, a project can get funded um, throughout the year um, it's certainly something that if um, if the commission wants to do some more community outreach and whatnot. Um, we could make a recommendation for the, the actual CIP um, of what the, you know, perhaps I'll call them known expenses. Um, you know, if you, if the commission wants to do another call for art and wants to set aside a certain amount for uh, stipends for entries, um, we can certainly include that and include a, a, a smaller dollar amount. And then um, the commission can spend some time working, you know, doing outreach. Um, I, I tend to agree that um, doing sufficient outreach um, or surveying in the next less than two months um, is doable, but maybe uh, not, it, it, we may not get as, as much input as we would like. Um, and so, continue to work on um, and later in the year, we can take a separate recommendation for um, perhaps a, a bigger project or um, additional funding for uh, to, to allocate additional funds to the, to the CIP. And I, I do know that Sonia, if, if she's still our uh, PR person, um, she's probably pretty busy with the housing element uh, surveys and such. So I think it's going to be a little tough to, to get people's attention because that one is going to, she's going to be busy with that. Um, I, I would like to see us think about something a little bit bigger than sculpture loan programs and um, items that we hang on walls, even though I, I push for the community center to have a, a, an art gallery, but um, I, um, I'm open to doing a survey before we even start trying to decide what we want to do next. I think Janet has a good idea. Um, I don't know if if people know what they want when it comes to art. I mean, there are some people well, with we, definite ideas. We may need to be very thoughtful about I, that. I, I mean, if, if they say I want art classes, classes knows. then, you know, we have a lot of art classes around town, so we may need to be very if we do a survey be very thoughtful of how we what we ask and how we ask it of do you want more sculpture do you want less sculpture do you want more free do you want free art classes do you want art classes like to have a direction or do you want a a bigger art installation by a well-known artist do you want crisco's legacy to come wrap city hall um i would vote for but um, we may need to just be very specific on that. I think I like Don's note, although I, we have until the April meeting, correct? Is that right? And I guess um, maybe we can we maybe the commissioners yes. do try to come up with a list of ideas and we have a special meeting to discuss them or is that out of pocket or is that not? Or we discuss them in March? Or, or what is Here's a suggestion, maybe a subcommittee to try and come up with some um, ideas such as um, we're not going to maybe wrap City Hall, but, um, you know, a gateway project of this right. just to give examples, because if we do a survey, we right. probably need examples. Like, right. Would you like to see A? Would you like to see B? Would you like to see C? Um, and then present it at the next meeting so that we can perhaps get a survey going. And 
I think if if that exercise, if we go through that, then we as, as a subcommittee and a commission right. will have some ideas of, of things that we possibly could do. Um, that, that would be my suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I guess as the longest standing person or sitting person um, on the um, Commission, I, I'd be very happy to, to be on a subcommittee. Um, is there anyone else who would like to volunteer for the subcommittee? What would the subcommittee be for? Sorry. It would be for coming up with ideas. So your idea of a survey is a good one, but I think we need to uh, crisp up what we want to ask people to think about, you know, would they like, uh, as Hillary was saying, would they like uh, a piece made by a well-known artist? Would they like this? Would they like that? Um, would, you know, it just because it, we need to. There has to be an objective. Yeah, we service. need some direction. We need to, we need to give the people we're serving some direction as far as here are some possibilities. What, you know, what? I would love to be on the subcommittee with you if you if that would work for you and and maybe I could bring to the table some of um you know some benchmarking maybe from some other cities on okay. what they've done. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm just wondering um uh, why are we talking about what we're going to spend our money on when we don't even know what kind of money we have? I I that's not the way I work. Sorry. Well, we do have money. John, would you like to give an estimate of how much we have? Yeah, so um, at the last budget um, time, I believe it was a hundred, we had $166,000 of public art funds. Um, as I mentioned, 60,000 was allocated to last year's uh, project. We just had another uh, development project that came in and um, contributed $200,000 to the city's public art fund. So we have um, 260, about 300, about three hundred thousand or so, um, just as a quick estimate. And we didn't go through. And the we did. We know that the conservation so that we have put this year. some into conservation. I think that's um, a fair given. And the conservation subcommittee is going to meet and and talk about that. Yeah, so there, there should right. be some maintenance. Um, some money is going towards maintaining city assets our art pieces, our city assets, um, and our call for art um, between paying cafe, which is the way that we publicize the call, and also our stipends that cost some money. So um, there has been some outlay of money this year. For Are we going to judge the art when it comes? Is there going to be first place, second place, or is it all perfect uh, acceptance? Or well, I mean, we're, 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 we're not talking uh, right now about a call for, we're talking about the budget for. Um, I know, I mean, then will we give money to the first or second? That's where no, I'm coming no. from. Oh, okay. No, our, 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 our call for like the community center, it's uh, for the purpose of, uh, you know, showing artwork in the community yeah, okay. center. Yeah, yeah, that's why I brought no the no, we were no gonna give them money on first. Okay, that's where it came in. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, so um, that would not be part of our budgeting process. Perfect. Um, is there anybody else who would be interested in um, joining the subcommittee? Or is it a subcommittee of two? And what's exactly required? How much time? Um, probably, probably research. A fair amount. Yeah, doing some Sorry? research as far as what other cities have done or are doing. Um, and um, not that uh, you know, Los Altos is a unique community, but um, just seeing uh, some best practices of a acquiring art and um, you know, and also having money to maintain that art and how they budgeted for it. I'm not sure I could help in that. <laughs> All right, Janet, it looks like it's you and me. Okay, sounds like it's planned. So we will um, work together and see if we can come up with some information for our next meeting. So definitely we'll have this as a, um, an item on the next meeting's agenda as well. Yeah. 
All right. Um, getting to the, the wire here, our work plan, um, before we discuss it, are there any public comments on our work plan? Nope. John. Um, yeah, so felt it would be a good time opportunity to include the work plan um, just to see if there's any um, changes or thoughts, if there's projects that uh, the commission wants to get started on or perhaps remove um, from the work plan. This is just an opportunity to, to have a sort of a check-in. Um, it's been a few months since um, we put this together and then presented it to the city council. And so have an opportunity to sort of discuss um, the work plan as, as needed. Do you want to uh, bring it up or? Um... I can do that. Um, let me let's see here. Are you all seeing that? It says start, started screen sharing and we see in a process. circle. It's in process. Uh-oh. Viewing. There we go. There we go. Yeah, but it's okay. small. Can we make it bigger a little? Let's see here. I, I was... have my reading glasses on. I can still barely read it. Can you? How <laughs> about that? Much better. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Who wants one? All two, right. Three, two, um... So uh, we have community outreach. Um, we have two worlds, one voice poetry reading. So that should probably, um, I don't want to see be, say be tabled, but um, well, we can it is change it right April. now it's to the April hometown 24. haiku. Is that fair? Uh, However, one of the readers, uh, one of the poets is in China. I'm going to okay. reach out to her okay. this week and see if she's going to be able to get back. If she's not, I'm gonna I'll table it, or I'll see that we table it because there's she's not been able to get back yet from China. Um, so if she's not, we'll go ahead and table that. Okay, so let's, John, you stopped us. I did. I'm gonna call up a word version. Okay. So I can take notes as we discuss. Okay. And John, when we present to city council next November, do we present things that we started on that, that commissioners worked on and maybe, you know, the, Hillary's put work into this particular program and maybe if it, if it doesn't come to fruition, is it still worth mentioning and keeping on the work plan? Um, I think so. I mean, it, it's, it's worth keeping on the work plan if the commission wants to continue working on it in the future. Um, if there's no intention to do any more work on it, then um, we would, I would suggest we take it off. Um, so it, it may be the case if, if for some reason, if, if the one um, member of, for that particular project can't make it back, um, we can find other push things it out by a couple we'll months. About so that. I'd, I'd rather not. Plan. I mean, we started, started this in September so I'd, uh, last year, so I'd rather not keep pushing okay. it back. That's not fair to them. They can book other gigs. So if we can't get it, we can, we can trust me, we, we can fill up that work plan. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Um, can you searching for community involvement programs? We had painting the pandemic, which was completed in the bear paw print, which com completed. So we should probably remove that. But um, we can put in uh, everybody is an artist and just go straight in. Who right now? Those, those are upcoming. Hmm. Can we get one of these schedules? Uh, could we? Or should we copy it or? Um, so the work plan was included in the packet um, as mm -hmm. agenda item 11. So if you okay. um, call up your packet, you'll have it there. Um, otherwise, otherwise, I can also send it out to the commission. 
Yeah, and John, since you are changing it, you're putting some notes in. Um, could you send it out to everyone? Um, mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, we'd appreciate it. I think. Yep. All right. The next items is established community arts council. I think that is the Los Altos. Yes, I think Art the name is still a little bit force, up in the air. If I remember yeah, correctly. The same thing. Okay, so then that should stay on the um, on the work plan, and it says early 2022, so we can put Mar uh, starting March 2022. Next one is partnership grant program, which was, I think we discussed it last meeting or the previous meeting um, for the micro grants of $1,000 to underfunded yeah. arts organizations. It's ready to go. We just had and we so decided many to table it till September, kind of September, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Exactly. All right, PR outreach, work with city PR support for communication oh, outreach. Ongoing, yeah. I think that one is definitely outgoing. Uh, uh, ongoing, not outgoing. Updates those to the result is com uh, commission art guidelines. Those are those should be taken off. Um, okay, here's one we, we haven't discussed for a while. Expanding existing public arts footprint, things like our walking and bike tours that we had discussed. Um, prior to our new commissioners joining. Um, that one we should probably keep on um, on the work plan. I think we had Jenna, um, I think I'd maybe just start, start Jenna discussing at the next brochures. meeting. I'm not sure, I'll have to uh, email her and see if we talked about that. And if we'd gotten, I think Mary Jo had the old brochure. So maybe okay. we can, was that the same thing or was that different? Um, well, there was two things. There was uh, create. We we talked about um, creating a walking or a bike tour and or a bike tour um, for looking at the yeah. public art, um, and we've talked about that on and off for years. And um, and I believe online the um, there is a copy of the right like two revs ago the the art map that needs to be updated. Um, explore the possibility of gateway art sculptures. Um, I guess we are just about to, to start on that process. Uh, call for art, a public art sculpture. Um, I don't know if we're going to do one this year, so maybe we should leave it there just in case. No, self-guided. On, on the walking tour, you would have a leader? No, no, no. It, it would be a self-guided walking tour. With a map? With a map. Okay, and where do you pick the maps up at the? We used to have them at uh, um, community center, maybe. Community center. We used to uh, um, uh, city hall. We could have them. And so also we should have them available online as well. Lovely. Okay, thank you. That would be lovely. Okay, we done. Okay, research and we've done. Yeah, we've, we have put into I it, think though, that's still yeah. ongoing. We, we've, we've done it and, it and it is ongoing, especially if we end up with Magnify moving it to South Los Altos. Um, discuss potential relocation of artworks. Um, I think we're probably going to take that off. What do you think, John? That's up to the commission. We, we've discussed moving Mother Hen slightly. Um, yeah, maybe oh, keep, it on, keep it sorry. as ongoing. I got all right. Now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, only because we haven't quite gotten all those done. Yeah, so we and I, I suspect we will discuss that. Uh, that's something that we'll discuss often. Um, the next one is uh, explore the creation of an art for sale program. I think. Um, probably going to table that one. The idea was that if we had calls for art and we brought the artwork into the city, now the stuff that's on loan is for sale, but uh, that we helped try to get the word out that that items were for sale. And I don't think that's really our job. And um, maybe we, we do, you know, 
need to tell people that things they see they can buy, but that's not, I don't think that's our job. So let's table it. Um, art conservation stewardship website updated with new sculpture information um, and pricing for loaned art. Um, I don't know if it's appropriate for us to have the pricing, but as I was going to touch on when we uh, get to the end of our meeting that the web pages do need to be updated to include our new sculptures. So that should just stay there, um, but maybe take price pricing uh, out, John. For, um, it's probably not appropriate for us to do that. Um, work with staff to manage loan sculpture insurance and loan period extensions. I think that's kind of ongoing. Um, we should probably get a database and make sure that we know what the the current values of some of the pieces that are owned by the city or all the pieces owned by the city so keep that as ongoing Floor restoration possibilities for various city owned artworks ongoing i think that's right monitor recommend and document actions for loaned and city owned outdoor sculptures i think that should continue to be ongoing um, okay, updated on the loan agreement. Um, so best practices of other cities we need to look at uh, include uh, verbiage specifying the additional stipend may be paid. I don't think we, we decided actually that should come off because we had previously decided that we didn't want to pay an extra stipend if we extended a loan. So. Um, so uh, here's one artist needs to prove, uh, provide proof of insurance through the lifetime of the loan of, of a piece of art. So we have pieces that have been on loan for quite some time and the city should make sure that, that uh, the artist is still insuring it. Um, and I, I know that this was one, when Anita heard this one, she was um, not pleased. Um, because it does open the city up to liability. So yeah, we do need to look into that. Uh, update status of expired loan sculptures as early 2022. That's now. Um, maybe next meeting, John, we should look at, uh, get a list again of what's expired or ex about to expire. Just so we okay. can current. Um, update report and commission uh, update and slash report on commission work plan status. I don't know what that is. That seems like that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, I guess that means just keep doing this. Um, I was I don't, like, why is it there? I don't, I don't know that that needs to be on the, the work plan. No, no. Like, <laughs> you know, look at work plan occasionally. Okay, it's always, it should always be ongoing by every commission. Um, install community center interior and exterior artworks per approved public art plan. Let's take that off. Um, community center murals signage should be completed. Identify and purchase art hanging system completed. Um, is is the the murals have their signage up correct in the community center? John, I'm going to have to double check. I know that okay. I I think the signage was approved. Um, I'll have to double check to see if it was actually installed yet. Okay, I haven't been inside the community center for a little while and I noticed you didn't uh, yellow it. Yeah. Sorry. Community center art gallery completed and complete two calls. So that is um, ongoing or happening. So we'll keep that there. The mirror, so um, when Linda Gass gave us a just a uh, presentation about the mural that she was designing, it was um, beyond fantastic, and we thought it would be great if she created a video describing the murals. And I believe the commission decided that we would spend up up to five thousand dollars creating a um, a video. And we got agreement from Parks and Rec. They have a TV in the community center to present it. And we've not gotten a um, a bid from Linda about it. And it's kind of fallen into the cracks. Um, I mean, we can keep it on the work plan. I just don't know if it's going to happen or if we should pursue it at this time. 
And it's kind of hard for commissioners who are newer because they did not see the presentation that we got to see. It was um, really great, but um, let's let's keep it there for now and um, we can revisit it. Um, okay, commission program signage. Um, so that I, commission program signage. Oh, maybe getting, making sure that all the uh, sculptures have signs. I'm gonna assume in progress, uh, relocation, installation of dancing man and conversation piece are done. Uh, the uh, tower uh, done. Uh, art for the city council chamber, which I think Terry was asking for. So um, let's put that as an ongoing because we're not sure when the city council chamber is going to be completed. And and maybe we want to um, put some permanent pieces in or do community calls for art. We're not sure yet. And I think that is it, John. Yep. That's page. the end of it. Okay. Phew. Okay. Any comments on that before we go any further? Oh, Anita, your hand is up. Hi, just a heads up. Thank you. Um, when speaking now as a council member, when we get these presented to us, one of the things that's often asked is um, what is the next thing that will happen under, and we'll tend to pick one or two or three of the items that seem a little, uh, well, just to say, how will you know a year from now if you were successful at what you did? Um, or what you plan to do. In, and some of these are a little loosey-goosey for, for good reason. But on the other hand, if I were to ask each of you, you know, pick one of those and say, what's the next thing that's supposed to happen on that? Who's responsible and when's it going to be done? Um, could you do that? Could you answer that question? And so I'd encourage you, which you might, might necessarily not necessarily have this done before you have our meeting, but you might want to think about what the answer to that question would be. Um, and whether you want to go basically one level deeper for your own purposes of identifying what are next steps in a number of these and when do you think you could do them, it would help balance your workload during the course of the year. I know you, you, you pay a lot of really good attention to not overloading the staff or yourselves, but you seem to do it on an ad hoc basis. Okay. And I'll stop there. Okay. Um, John, do we have any informational items from city staff? I do not this evening, um, other than the, what I commented earlier, uh, regarding the sculpture installations. Um, I don't have any other, um, informational items. Okay. Um, under commissioners reports and comments, this is where I can comment on something not on the agenda, correct? Um, yeah, so you can report out on something and or request a future agenda item if you like at this time. Okay, um, I would like to request an agenda item uh, to update the uh, Los Altos Public Arts Commission webpage. And do any other commissioners have any other items they would like to report on or comment on? Do we want to have as an agenda item uh, a plan for what we're going to do when we staff a table at farmer's market? Or would that be a subcommittee report? It could be. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Anita? You, did you, I'm sorry, do you have a subcommittee for that purpose? We do not. Well, oh, when well, I say a, a subcommittee report, um, you're right. Um, There's a public we, outreach subcommittee. Yeah, I, I was going to jump in and, and suggest having it as a future agenda item to either discuss or to create a specific farmer's market outreach yeah. uh, subcommittee. Um, so we can put that on for the next meeting. Right. 
Right. And then I just want to congratulate you on the two new sculptures that are in town because they're great. Oh. And thank John for getting a hold of the uh, crier That's so that they good. would come out and, and do pictures. And how great to have that on the front page. Totally, totally amazing. Uh -huh. um, and this is a query for John. I'm jumping ahead on the, the website. Um, do we have... Or, or who has been the person who took pictures of sculptures to put on the website? Um, that is a fantastic <laughs> question. And the answer is a number of people. Um, I know I've done some. Uh, we had a photographer who went out uh, years ago and took pictures of some. Um, I know some other staff members have taken pictures. Uh, and so, you know, it's it's sort of uh a smorgasbord of photographers so to speak because i'm i'm sensitive as you know about not asking staff to do too many things right now because of our staffing situation so i didn't know if we had the resources available to us within the commission or if i should sign up my husband <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so um... Anita, well, Anita, Anita, I just say... want to let you know that I took pictures of multiple pictures of both and I sent John one of each that I thought were the best. So I've been doing that already, at least since I started. Okay. And we will need a picture of the tower, which is also not um, on our web page. Terry, do you, you, you be able of, to do that? Yeah, I have lots of pictures of the tower. Okay. Yeah, I, I just didn't send one to him because I thought somebody else did because there were so many people there, but I, I, I'm happy to do that. So uh, um, since city staff is spread very thin, um, is it all right for me to ask Terry, would you like to be our official photographer? We have a lot more sculptures coming in, so. Yeah, I can be if you, uh, requested I can do it unless another member of the commission would like to be a photographer for the commission I could work with I could, I could, we, could, we could work to oh okay go ahead sorry sorry didn't mean to no, that's perfect no. but no, I, I mean I'm Terry to, to, if you between need the help, two of us, yeah. can help whatever yeah, you between the whatever two of us because John sends us an email and tells us when it's going to be installed and you know, just from the last one, we go multiple times checking to see how the pr process is going and when the artist is going to be completed, you know, between two and eight hours. The tower took, what, 10 hours? So so the, the photos um, for the website would definitely be after the installation is complete, hopefully with no people around. So it's just the artwork. No problem. I can redo those. Anita? Yeah. Is, um, it, is your um, hand up? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. It was up from before. Oh, okay. I, I apologize. Yeah, I just, I, I didn't know, you know, what resources were out there and, um, you know, we want good quality things. And if you're going to use them for like the the map, if they're going to be part of the, the, the map thing that you're going to do for the walking tour and, and so on, then we'd want, you know, good tiny pictures and good big pictures and so on. So. And they have to be with the good exposure and the correct time of day so they get the good sun, et cetera. Yeah, exactly. Mary, no, no. Terry, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, Terry, in your day job, um, you do take photos to um, try and sell homes, correct? So you are you have awareness of... Um, what a good photo should look like to get someone to hopefully buy a home. If John doesn't like my photos, I'm sure he'll tell me. <laughs> I just have a big question. For, for... I'll tell you, if, his tongue. <laughs> if Terry gets stuck, I'll volunteer my husband, um, who, let's see if I can do this. Ta-da. That's one. 
something he did once upon a time. Ooh. Wow. Um, so yeah. I, I had a, a question, Mary Nander, it sounds like your husband not only is willing, or, thanks to you, but also is highly capable. Does he want to do this? I mean, no, no, I haven't. I haven't even talked with him okay. about it. But, you know, we've been married 44 years. And so I can volunteer. <laughs> I know where I can volunteer him. And so the matter of, you know, we have at least a dozen cameras and probably 40 lenses. We can take a picture of anything, anywhere, in any format. So we don't need that level of stuff most of the time. But if there is something where we need something and we're not getting what we need, um, you know, let me know and I'll fetch him out there to do it. So I don't know if we can. Talk Terry's about right. And Terry has a sense of, of sun. And that was obvious when she was talking about the installation on the Serengeti, you know, that having the sense of where the light is matters so much when you're doing the picture. And she obviously understands and knows that. So um, it's just, it may be between Terry and me, you know, Terry, if you yeah, get we'll stuck call, up. We'll call on Jim yeah. and I will call on you and yeah. Edie when we need you, and then you can have your husband come out. You know what? Yeah. I, I'm good. If, I, if it's okay, I'll pull myself out of the equation because I think Anita should be your backup, not me. <laughs> I have a camera, but I'm not. I cannot call myself a professional photographer. So, so yeah. So Terry, why, if you want, just work yes, around. ma'am. I got it. Yeah, his, his first love is figure photography in the wild, but um, we can't show that in public. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think that most of uh, unless either, a sculpture that, or, unless we get a sculpture that works for that. Yeah. Um, and, and I would say most likely that is not probably the type of sculpture that we would recommend the city of Los Altos um, uh, get on loan or purchase. So, um, but obviously landscape is something else he loves. So yeah, that, that was clear. That was half dome. That's yeah, that was that was a lucky that was a lucky El Cap capture when we were in at uh, Yosemite one year at Thanksgiving and we woke up to unexpected snow. Wow! And like, Beautiful. oh, gotta what gotta. gotta go. What is this four letter word snow you mentioned? Um, <laughs> it makes me cold. I think we should ask John about that because I suspect that one of the reasons that the his screen was slow loading is that he may not be on home high bandwidth. <laughs> He did say he was somewhere that I think you said it was either snowing or very cold. So I think he said cold, but it, um, it's actually it is it is winter. Well, that would Where be all of, of our hemisphere, would it not? Um, well, it was it was thirty one degrees here this morning, John. So it's winter here too. <laughs> well, it has not gotten that warm here. Yeah. Oh. Where have... are you? Where are you? You're not telling. I am in the mountains. Oh, in the mountain. Lovely. But he is still on this call. That's the important thing. He is right, here for, right, to help us. Right. Okay. And, and on that note, so so Terry, you have volunteered to um, take pictures of uh, pieces. And, and actually, Terry, I, I, um, I, and John will stop me if I'm not allowed to say this, but um, I would invite you to look at the pictures on the web page. I will. Of, of our of our sculptures, I know some of them in the past have been a little on the dark side. You know, the, the okay. sun was not in the right place, and you might uh, decide that it's time. I for need to. Photos. Okay, that's fine. I can just carry up where the sun is everywhere in this town at any time of the day. Pretty much. I, I know where it features. is right now. It's not in the sky right now. Um, <laughs> that much I know. Um, okay. Um, Potential future agenda items. Um, I think we've touched on a bunch of uh, items for the future. Does anyone else have any other suggestions for um, future agenda items? I may I I just Go have ahead. an idea that when we have this brochure with the art pieces and so on, maybe we could have someone, an artist who knows about art, and have have a walk with people. You know, schedule a walk, art walk through town, and explain the sculptures. Or it would be nice to give we, that. Or we could put that as part of the uh, creating a walking bike tour. Um, right to put incorporate it. So as, it's it's not just a uh, self guided, but maybe right. schedule a um, uh, 
uh, an in-person uh, right and then maybe tour. we could have a little uh, refreshments or something make it a real fun occasion of you know and maybe we could look at the poetry besides that you know i think we definitely would need to to know that that covid um oh yeah it, 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 we may always be with us but that um people feel comfortable um, right 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 you know. we're looking into the future correct into the, correct. Into the healthy future <laughs> all right and and uh speaking of looking into the future i'm looking at my clock and it says 7 <laughs> 11. um i and unless we have any other future agenda items um which i do not think we have i don't see anyone commenting i'm going to say it is time to adjourn and let John get back to his uh, balmy, uh, uh, was it like 10 degrees, 15 degrees, whatever it is. And, um, and we will.